My dispatcher, she hates it when I call her. I'm eating chicken broth, two cans for a dollar. I got a bag for my fuel. Just kind of scoot poot along here. Got myself in the daggum traffic jam. So anyway, I want to show you guys something right here that I just discovered just today. I've been kind of checking it out a little bit earlier uh, when I was getting loaded. Let me show you this. This is pretty awesome right here. Right here. No, not the traffic jam. <laughs> not the traffic jam. This is this on my phone. Check this out. Look at that. This is called Bible Hub. Anything, it is pretty awesome. So, anything you want to know. You go to Bible Hub, it's a free app, you can put it on your phone. So, you know, I read all the time on uh, social media, people say, well, the Bible don't say nothing about this or that, uh, it don't say nothing about homosexuals. So I just got curious, so I, and it says enter reference or keyword right there, so I punched in homosexual to just to see what would come up and there was all kinds of Bible verses in Leviticus about homosexual and then uh, words that we don't use every day that are in the Bible it has if you scroll down it it gives you all the different versions of different Bibles the uh, Living Bible the uh, study Bible, the King James, the Christian Standard Bible, all these different kinds of Bibles that, that are at. So it gives you, then it gives you other, um, other chapters in the Bible, verses, uh, and then it, uh, it gives you definition of words. I already told you that. It gives you definitions of words. And just all kinds of neat stuff and then different languages look at that even you can go to different languages it is just it's pretty awesome you ought to check it out i thought i'd share that with you it's called um oh, what's this thing called bible hub b-i-b-l-e-h-u-b -E bible hub okay and i found it i just um I don't even know how I found it, but you just go to Google, just Google it, and it'll pop up, Bible Hub, or Chrome, or something like that, whatever, I don't know, but that's how I, I found it, it's on Google. Check it out, give it a try, see what you think about it, alright? Let me know, let me know, tell me something down there in the, in the uh, comment section down there. Alright. Tell me what you think about all this. Bible hub. Alright. Alright. Yeah, anyway, look at this. Check that out. Woo! Doggies! Looks like we're gonna be here a minute. Well, at least we got us a McDonald's. A McDonald's. A Zaxby's, a Waffle House, oh, Cracker Barrel, look out. All right, all right. That's how it is, that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Yep. So now's a good time. I want to tell you all about my, oh, yeah, you ought to listen to my uh, CDs. Bye.
invite y'all to uh, check out my CD, Death Row. Check out that. Check that out. Why don't y'all take a look at the size of these speed bumps. They are six inch speed bumps. It's crazy. Now, a six inch speed bump can and will tear up your car, your struts, your uh, <coughs> your bushings, your struts, and your shock absorbers. This, that is crazy. So, that's the reason that uh, rumble strips. Look at that. Look at that. That thing is as big as an alligator. <laughs> It's crazy. They're spaced about every 300 feet going through here. Look. It's as huge as a alligator. Right there, look at that. It is what you're looking at right here is a beller, a sod beller. It does it all. It picks up the sod off the ground, rolls it, puts it into rolls, and then it stacks it on a pallet. And when it's done, it shoots it out the bottom onto the ground. And then, the guy on a bobcat forklift will come by and pick it up. get it ready for shipping. There's a the guy on the forklift. goes up and down in rows all day. So they've got it all and then they'll move to another farm. One of those bells. 
our uh, pallets weigh about five, six hundred, seven hundred pounds a piece. All right, so this is a side baler. And basically, it picks it up. This is the front of it. And rollers, metal roller goes along the ground right here. And it scrapes the ground, gets the sod, picks it up, brings it up this conveyor belt right here. Under the conveyor belt, it goes up. You can see fragments of the sod right here to go up in there and it'll turn it. Into rolls. Then it'll take it over there. When it's done, and it will stack it onto these pallets. And then they'll lower it, lower the pallet onto the ground. And then the guy come by and pick it up and pour it. Pretty awesome. And that is how you do turf harvesting. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. And you know, what else is impressive is look at that cab. So he can sit in there in the air condition or the heat or whatever. And with a stereo, all right, a cup holder, everything. Even got lights. Everything you need. All the comfort. Got a side chair and a driver's chair. Okay. That is pretty, pretty awesome. I want to share that with you a little bit. That is one nice rig right there. That is how it's done. No doubt. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? Alright, and here we are. This is what we got going on here. Day to day. We got a broke down bus and the policeman is in hot pursuit. Uh, it looks like the policeman is trying to help him make it up the hill. Get him to a good safe spot. We'll fill out that ticket book for you there, Mr. American Dreamer. <laughs> got one. He's got plenty of pages for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, friends. We are we are in the high 40 and uh, going through the gorge right here. Just outside of Tennessee. Coming into North Carolina, 
got me a new phone. Got me a red hydrogen phone. And I changed my carrier from Walmart to AT&T. So now I am on AT&T. Right here in Atlanta, Georgia. 
Fulton Industrial Boulevard. If you've been trucking for a while, you probably know exactly where Fulton Industrial Boulevard is. And I imagine if you been a cab driver over a day or two in Atlanta area, you probably know where Fulton Industrial Boulevard is for bad gun sure. This is like the heartland of the workland right here. So if you need a J-O-B in Atlanta, you head on down to Fulton Industrial Boulevard because I guarantee somebody down here is going to need some help somewhere because this is a hot spot. This is, I'm not joking, ain't no joke. This is, check this out, look here. Look at that. Fulton Industrial Boulevard, right there, ladies and gentlemen. We are also, if you know where uh, Six Flags is, Six Flags in Georgia. It's a theme park. There's several of them around America, the United States, there's a few. Six Flags over Georgia is like five miles from here, maybe ten, not far, not far. Not far at all. I've never been to Six Flags, but you know what? I'd love to go one day. I love to go, I love theme parks. I love to go to Six Flags, Cedar Point, go there to Walt Disney World, Walt Disney Land. Oh man. What's that other one? There's one in Virginia. Oh man. Kings and Kings Mount Kings. King something. Yeah, I'd go check them all out. Go to the Mall of America, check that out. That's what I'd do. If I could. If I had the M O N E Y. Huh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sweetie. Well, what? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. I'm right here. I just thought I'd take a minute. Show y'all where I'm at. I'm heading on my way to Aberdeen, North Carolina with a load of shingles. Shingle up somebody's house. That's what we're gonna be doing. Well, I'm not gonna be shingling their house, but I'm gonna take it to somewhere to somebody that can, I guess. Or somebody that will sell the shingles to somebody that will. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know the truth about it. I'm mean, going to Aberdeen, North Carolina with a load of singles. <laughs> might be a business, might be a house, might be a builder. I don't know. All I know is I'm on my way to Aberdeen. Over there. Bad coming. <laughs> Yes. 
somebody that wants to get in the left lane or the right lane and they want to hold traffic up. You know what I mean? Impeding traffic. Okay? That's what that's called. You are impeding traffic. You want to slow everybody down into the one lane. Well, you know, folks, I mean, this is why that don't work. Because you got to have two lanes of traffic all the way up until they you merge. Because <laughs> if you only had one traffic, you only had one lane, and all this traffic, well, glory be, you'd be, uh, traffic would be backed up all the way back to Nashville. From Asheville, North Carolina to Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> uh, you get, people just don't, I swear, it's like, didn't you go to common sense school? Didn't they teach common sense at your school? <laughs> Even if you were home trained, you should have had a little common sense class. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe they don't teach that truck driving training at school or something. I just I don't know what to tell you folks. Friends, I just don't know. I don't know. But it's crazy. Always. Crazy, crazy stuff. Stop picking at the truck drivers and poor fellers. Poor fellers out here trying to make a living. Look at him. Look at him up there impeding traffic. <laughs> now look at that gap. He got a four mile gap because he don't want to let, he wants to hold traffic up in his left dead gum lane. You know, there ought to be a law against impeding traffic. Oh, matter of fact, I believe there is. There is a dead gum darn impeding traffic officer when you need one, right? Tell me, get, uh, get, either get moving or get, get off the dead gum road, dead gummy. Stop impeding everybody. We don't want to be impeded, okay? <laughs> I want to be impeded on. I'm sure there's places I could go for all that, okay? I could read a book, Fifty Shades of Impeded, or something like that. I don't know. Dad, come. Wake up and smell the dead gum impeding going on here, okay? Oh, mercy, mercy, mercy me, mercy me, mercy me. Maybe you're in the wrong profession, feller. Maybe you're in the wrong profession, dead gum it. <laughs> Take it home and park it. We are just awful. We, don't be on the dead gum truck driver like that. So bad, okay? Dead gum. <laughs> <laughs>
lay the foundation. Now put that rebarb into that concrete and give it some strength to hold the foundation of the massive additions they have going on. Okay. <laughs> yep, sir. Correct me Beautiful country up here, ladies and gentlemen. Sure enough. Sure enough, sure enough. Beautiful July morning. Check it out. Check it out. show you how to take the curve like this. Just like that. Well you aren't going around these curves. Okay. You got these hairpin curves and you can't see to the other side. Blow your horn. Because your trailer tires is going to be if you're hauling a trailer your tractor your trailer tires is going to be in that other lane or on the side of a mountain because you about have to take up the entire road right through here so that's how you drive these see you have to take up the whole road that's how you drive these hairpin curves That way, that keeps your trailer off the side of the mountain. Okay? Chicken broth, two kings for a dollar. 